All right, let's continue to talk about the social self, but this time let's talk about gender and race differences in self-esteem. All of this research is based on meta-analyses, and these meta-analyses often include hundreds of individual studies, which include hundreds of thousands sometimes of people. So it's really based on a lot of data. Meta-analyses have found that gender differences are actually pretty small when it comes to self-esteem. And as you might expect, men tend to have higher self-esteem when it comes to physical appearance, like athletic abilities. And that's because there's a lot of pressure that's put on women when it comes to their appearance and, and uh, maintaining a, a slim, youthful looking body. And that's often portrayed in the media and on TV. If you look at a show like Modern Family, it's very common that the wife in the couple is a beautiful woman and the, uh, the guy in the couple not so much, but it works kind of both ways here because although women have a lot of pressure in our society to maintain that beautiful, youthful appearance, men also have a lot of pressure put on them to be successful. And as a result of that, men often step on a lot of toes and sometimes do things that they don't feel particularly good about in order to be successful. And as a result, women tend to have higher self-esteem when it comes to their view of ethics and morality. So that's kind of an interesting difference right there. Let's shift gears for a second. Let's talk about racial differences in self-esteem. Again, this is based on meta-analyses that include data from hundreds of thousands of people, lots of data. And what has been found very consistently is that um, African Americans tend to have higher self-esteem than whites, and that's across the age range. We're talking about uh, adolescents, uh, young adults and even adults into their later years. And it's kind of interesting, African Americans have higher self-esteem than whites. If we're looking at whites as a baseline, we can then see Hispanics, Asians, and Native Americans as having lower self-esteem than whites. And that's shown right here in this graph. Why might that be that African Americans have higher self-esteem? Well, one potential reason has to do with how people account for adversity. And black or white, um, doesn't matter what your race is, you can, you can attribute some type of cause of uh, some adversity, for example, either internally or externally. And there's a theory that um, blacks might account for their adversity using more external attributions. If we make an internal attribution, we're essentially blaming ourselves, and that doesn't make us feel good. That's not gonna do much for our self-esteem. But if we make an external attribution when we encounter adversity, so for example, African-Americans might say like, well, I live in a racist society, and unfortunately, our country does represent a racist society, even though it's not as overt as it used to be. And if people are able to explain their adversity, in terms of those external factors, it still leaves them room to have a good sense of self and a high self-esteem. So that's an interesting theory and more research is needed to really figure out what's going on with why African-Americans tend to have higher self-esteem than whites. Um, so only time will tell. Well, that's it for this section, but stay tuned because more social psychology is coming up soon.